we go. Very busy. <laughs> Worked in Bangor, um, and then came here, of course, in 1999. It's nine years since I've been here now, um, which is a long time. But in my time here, I've developed a passion for travelling, which I'm sure most <laughs> of you know. <laughs> we do travel to different places, um, and very few people can say that they've travelled halfway across the world to see somebody sing in an opera to turn up to find out that they weren't singing there but um, really really, I should take him off my list for that but actually I, I've um, put him on one of my friends in college his name is um, Dolan and uh, um, his brother-in-law is Chris Marion, the opera singer and Dolan went over to Australia to see Chris when he was singing for the Australian National Opera um, about three years ago and we joined them there and we got tickets to see it is singing in the opera house in Sydney now I'm not a keen opera lover but because it was this I was going to go there and see him really and um, we got our tickets and we were in Cairns and Dylan sent me a text we have arrived, this isn't singing brilliant <laughs> here we have these expensive opera tickets I don't <laughs> like opera and I'm going to see somebody else singing <laughs> So I went to the opera house and I said, look, um, I understand um, Chris Miran isn't singing. Oh, I don't know so well. I know he isn't. Oh, um, you know, are all the tickets sold? Oh, yes, the tickets have been sold weeks ago, sir. Oh, have you got a reserve list? I can give them back to you. No, it's illegal in Australia to mm. have reserve lists. Okay. Um, but what I would do, sir, you stand there and if somebody comes to the desk wanting tickets for tonight's performance, I'll send them to you. Mm. And I said, well, that's ticket touting, you know. I think ticket touting is far more illegal than <laughs> having a reserve list. But no, that was totally legal. So I sat there for about two minutes, and I sold the tickets within minutes, and I probably could have done the profits on them, but um, hmm. being the honest person... Well, the first one looked a real opera. Um, she was a young girl from South Africa who'd come to Sydney for a day, and wanted to go to the opera house, and oh, I can't quite afford it, so I gave it to a cheaper. Uh, um, and the other one was a chap, and they were both, you know, serious opera fans. But I didn't tell them that his wasn't singing, though, which was naughty of me, I know. So we spent some time in Australia. I actually went on top of Sydney Harbour Bridge with his. I've got a picture with his in the air, and um, Delan's mother and Delan and myself on top of Sydney Harbour Bridge, and. Um, you know, it was uh, an interesting holiday, and uh, we've travelled a lot. And William has travelled a lot. I think he's flown about 20 times now. I think he's only <laughs> five, <laughs> including to Australia, and he loves it. And the song I've chosen is with um, Bryn Stervel on their CD, Benedictus. And this song is Benedictus. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Hosanna in excelsis, Hosanna in excelsis, Hosanna, Hosanna in excelsis. Well, thank you very much, Harry, for sharing with us your choice of records. Um, I hope you can stay for a few minutes because there's a cup of tea and some biscuits coming. But before that, we have a chance to help Parkinson's Disease Society. Dr. Pritchard very kindly allowed us to make a collection for the Parkinson's Disease Society. And uh, I'm very grateful for the... Silent money, please. <laughs>